our kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had uh -oh. plans. Now this Bozo. Just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. You be big. Oh, of course. With Prince Florian's castle. So he is the castle now? Okay. It's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Bye. <laughs> in this presentation, we'll go over what's new in I want to know these weird side like the decimal coins. Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles. Only six. A total of seven areas to its oh, look how pretty that is. Uh -huh. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. I love all the little effects whenever you jump on stuff. When they change the effects. Boom. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff. Oh, look at those. They have like limited uses. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining mm -hmm. falls. Traverse multiple islands. <gasps> Swimming! The sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lies Look at that giant mushroom. Water down there. A scorching hot world full of molten magma. And more. A rich variety of There's fire spikes. Each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. I would have guessed. <laughs> you can even walk freely through open areas you find. Oh, that's cool. In these spaces, hmm. if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. But it's only certain levels. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. They have roller, say, uh, roller skates. Hey! Onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. <laughs> You'd share your water with me? Aww. You can play so many characters. Besides Mario, <gasps> Wait! You can, also... you can just play as any of these guys? That's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 characters? So play as... Luigi. Peach. That's crazy. Luigi. One of two toads. And Toadette. Oh. Play the same. Never mind. So with your favorite or mix it up. What about Yoshi and Nab? Oh, here we go. On the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice oh. for looking for a more easygoing experience. Ah. Uh. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. Okay. So well, you can still play as them though. That's neat. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. <laughs> I like that though. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hobbycat. Whenever you jump, it looks like they jump. Yeah. When you jump. Melon I love how you bring the little worm dude on your head. <gasps> Melon piranha plants. That's so cute. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. <laughs> when condarts <laughs> can even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat ah. if it comes too close to their gaping mouth. Ah. <laughs> there are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Koopa Troopas. Uh. Boos. 
Yo! Locky twos and other familiar foes are also here. Oh, here we go. New stuff. The elephants. Let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks. And even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large It's like a gaps. super See? strong power-up. Oh, damn. Two block gaps. Water in your trunk and spray it out. Who knows what might happen? Hey, ah! That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario. Oh, everyone can be hey. elephants. Ah. Peach, hey, yeah. Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. That's cute. Bubble, bubble. allows you to blow light floating bubbles. You jump in on? To capture and defeat enemies oh, okay. That's neat. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. That's nice. useful. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one That's really cool. Defeat nice. typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. That's that seems really good. Like platforms. Oh. Oh. Make it a bit easier to get to those. That seems like a very very useful power up. Drill. You'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky that dude was trapped in crystal. Headed enemies of Reese. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and oh. move through the ground. Oh. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even Ah. Oh. Oh. That's, That's really nice. useful. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> they do fire flower. Makes a return. Sweet. That's good. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power. Oh, sweet! Thank Very goodness. Nice. Bust out a power up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Wonder, here we go. Wonder flower. This is a wonder flower. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. Oh, they have different colored ones based on the area. Mysterious power. And release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. <laughs> a stampede of enemies can appear. Oh, the terrain may poor flower. What the hell? You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might uh bubble up. Interesting. Whoa! That's that trippy as hell. <laughs> yeah. You might float through space. Ah, regular show in space. Wonders where your character transforms. <laughs> we become a Goomba? Or a spike ball. Oh, I saw that. I remember that. That was in the first trailer. Or blow up like a balloon. What the hell? When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. <laughs> Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Mm, okay. Okay. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Woohoo! It's like bonus ones too. Okay. Badges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own oh. special ability. Let's go over mm. some of them. Slow your fall with a parachute. Oh, that's really dope. Very nice. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with a wall climb. You only use one at a time. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with a crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in mid. Whoa! Whoa. Walls with a grappling That's line. dope. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with a safety bounce badge. 
easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become That's really cool. Visible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different That's abilities. That's really cool. The convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped for yeah, course. Yeah, figured. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to this is what these are for. Coins you, collect in courses. you can buy lives. That's cool. Play together. Here we go. Local co-op. Okay. Please online co-op. People can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. I figured. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. Woo! If a player is defeated <laughs> in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. Okay, so there's not bubbles anymore. It's just ghosts. Before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. Oh, and sweet. So you know, nice. If someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the Will you take damage? Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. What the hell? Or if you're an elephant. But Jesus. <laughs> Or Yoshi. Yeah, I'm not play. If hell you yeah. online, you might see other players on the What the hell? Okay, yeah, yeah, hopefully there's a way to turn that off. Enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Wait. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. I kind of hope you're able to turn that off cuz if we're like randomly playing it, I don't want to see like 50 other people on my screen. That's cool though. Together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in oh. so easy areas and help your fellow players. That's nice. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. Mm. You never know which Ooh. standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items. Okay. Reaching the goal pole together and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get Good. together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Is it forced to be in like this weird shadow mode when you play with other people though? Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. Hmm. What a beautiful day! I love that you can just play as Yoshi. <laughs> Even if it's easy mode. Yeah. I mean, at least they're not completely vulnerable because they can still die. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model okay. Mario Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, no, thank you. And some hidden coins. Oh my god. The Nintendo yeah. Switch. I don't want that. Mario they already have a Mario Red, just non-OLED. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah.
Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> oh, never my jet's disabled. Oh, that was pretty neat.